Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. Yes, you would be wondering uh, that uh, why host Ram uh, didn't come on the Cricket Happenings show yesterday, uh, uh, you know, whereby I really, really spoke about, I recorded the uh, video uh, where Rubel Hussain took a hat-trick uh, to really sink New Zealand to their knees and in fact uh, picked up the best ever analysis by one day bowler, in fact equal the uh, record held by a Bangladeshi bowler, Mashrafe Murtaza was playing in that game. Uh, it was an identical figures of 6 for 26 and that's what Rubel Hussain did yesterday. But unfortunately dear friends and subscribers, uh, because of uh, the YouTube problems where the upload button did not appear at all, uh, I had no other choice but to delete the video today uh, because uh, the video never got through. So sorry about that. Uh, I always keep up my promise of coming to this cricket show. But it was uh, pretty sad that uh, you know I couldn't really really um, get that through due to YouTube problems. As I said, there was no upload button once I, um, you know, completed my recording, and then, uh, well, I had no other choice uh, but to, because I had to rush for office, so I had to really, really, uh, you know, get out of YouTube, and then I checked, and uh, nothing happened. So, well, unfortunately, uh, that report uh, had uh, I had to actually bite the dust, unfortunately. But uh, let me uh, do one thing, uh, right? So today in this cricket happening show, uh, I will briefly, very, very briefly talk about that uh, first one day international win by Bangladesh where uh, Rubel Hussain was the hero taking not only a hat trick of wickets, uh, becoming a third Bangladeshi bowler, but also equaling the best bowling figures uh, by a Bangladeshi bowler in one day international cricket matches, uh, which was um, standing in the name of Mashraf e Murtaza. So, Basically, what Rubel Hussain did is he took six wickets for 26 runs uh, to uh, equal the uh, record held by the Bangladeshi pace bowler Mashraf e Murtaza. Uh, and uh, what was good about it was that, as I said, uh, it was a Duckworth Lewis method, it was decided by the Duckworth Lewis method. Uh, initially, it was uh, Bangladesh who batted first, made 265 uh, all out, uh, thanks to Mushfiq ur Rahim, the captain, making 90 of 98 balls with 8 fours and 2 sixes, Naeem Islam making 84 uh, of uh, 115 balls with 12 fours and that's the precise reason the Bangladesh score uh, went on to 265 uh, but um, after that the New Zealand innings well uh, there was uh, they, they were struggling they lost three wickets pretty early but after that uh, uh, Grant Elliott made 71 in a losing cause as uh, the, the overs were actually reduced uh, due to the rain over there and there was a target, a revised target of 206 to get from 33 overs for New Zealand. And they started off in right earnest after the rain where the pace bowlers were carved for runs by Corey Anderson and Grant Elliott. But uh, Rubel Hussain was given the ball uh, after Mamushfiq um, Rahim, the captain, Bangladeshi captain, realized uh, that there was uh, no use um, having the pacers on when runs were just uh, flowing uh, like water. Uh, he brought on the uh, Rubel Hussein. I mean, after the spinners, in fact, the spinners were really, um, really uh, taken uh, to the cleaners in three overs. And after that, probably 48 runs were scored. Uh, and then Mushfiq Rahim, the Bangladeshi captain, uh, as intelligent as ever, uh, realized that uh, it's uh, better to press on his uh, pace bowlers into action. And Rubel Hussein responded in splendid fashion uh, by picking up uh, three wickets on the trot uh, in the uh, 23rd over where he became the uh, third Bangladeshi bowler to take a hat-trick as he picked up the wicket of uh, Anderson first for 46 of 31 balls with three fours and four sixes. He was the one who was the danger man there, was promoted in the batting order as a pinch hitter by Brendan McCullum. Uh, Brendan McCullum, the captain himself, filled the next delivery as he was gone uh, for a blob and, J and Jimmy Neesham was also dismissed for a blob. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, once that strike, the triple strike was done by Rubel Hussain, New Zealand absolutely couldn't recover from that shock and that was all over as um, Rubel Hussain wound up the innings uh, with figures of 5.5 overs no made in 26 runs and 6 wickets and rightly so he was named uh, man of the match uh, for his uh, splendid performance in Bangladesh, uh, winning the first one-day international by 43 runs by the Duckworth Lewis method uh, and um, well, uh, they, they, they are leading the series 1-0 in this three match series well so right now uh, what I'm going to do after uh, this particular thing I'm going to have two updates there are two matches going on currently one match is almost coming to an end where real excitement right now uh, India 
are chasing Australia. This is the seventh one day international, sixth one day international. And as you know, India has to, right now Australia are leading the series 2-1. Uh, and if India squares this particular one day international match, where right now they require another 38 runs with six wickets in hand. So wickets are not a problem. Only 21 balls remain. Virat Kohli is absolutely well set here. Not out on 89 of 55 balls with 13 fours and one six. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the captain of India, is not out on 30 of 16 balls. And one would reckon uh, on this feather bed of a pitch, uh, India should definitely, definitely get to the target. But it's going to be interesting. It's cricket. We can never say anything unless the last ball is bowled. But definitely this match is going down to the wire for sure. It was 38 runs and 21 balls. And right now I see Mitchell Johnson is really bowling superbly. He's keeping Virat Kohli quiet. There's only one boundary which was scored by uh, Virat Kohli. That was a magnificent shot uh, taken on the up and hit over extra cover. But after that, Johnson has been absolutely on the money. As Mahindra Singh Dhoni uh, comes, on a, uh, comes on to strike here with Kohli getting a single. Well, so I'll, I'll come back to that. In the meanwhile, there's only one more match which is happening. And that is, uh, I would, wouldn't, I mean, I would just going to cover that quickly uh, before we get on to the excitement in this uh, one-day fixture, uh, which is currently happening between India and, uh, India and Australia. Well, South Africa and Pakistan clashed in the first one-day international match today at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, uh, where uh, South Africans were the ones who were put into bat. In South Africa, uh, well, uh, they were the ones who actually won the toss and chose to bat. And, well, South Africa were all out for 183. They never looked like uh, doing anything because uh, it was uh, the spinners uh, who, well, first it was Mohamed Irfan who gave them the breakthrough. Uh, after that, the Colin Ingram was out for a duck. Uh, Graham Smith and Sai Najmal, the right arm off spinner, uh, came in and picked up wickets. He picked up four wickets. Sai, the freely complimented him well with three wickets. Uh, and if you see, Graham Smith was out for 20 of 25 balls uh, with 1-4. Uh, uh, Dumini was out for 20 of 36 balls with three fours. Duplessis was LBW bowl Ajmal for 12 of two, two fours. De Villiers uh, making just four runs uh, uh, was a victim of Saeed Ajmal. Caught, caught and bowled. Uh, Shai the Freedy uh, got uh, two caught and bowls after that. David Miller, uh, the dangerous hitter, after contributing 37 of 51 balls, two fours and one six was gone. Rand McLaren was a victim of Shai the Freedy. And Parnell uh, was the only one who really, really enabled South Africa to reach uh, I would say at least a uh, score to really defend, uh, which is very difficult, but 183 all out, thanks to Wayne Parnell um, uh, uh, making 56 of 70 deliveries, 6 fours and 1 six, and 183 all out South Africa, not doing well here in the first one day international. Uh, Mohamed Irfan, 10 hours on maiden, 1 for 35, bowled superbly, got the ball, extracted a lot of bounce out of this pitch with his natural height, and also the pitch also aided him. And um, Soil Tanvir uh, was um, also bowled by 9.5 overs, one made in 33 runs and two wickets. Said Ajmal, 10 overs, two made in 30 runs and four wickets, uh, bowled superbly, I thought. He was the one who really troubled all the South African batsmen. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I see there is a wicket gone. The first wicket for Pakistan has fallen. As uh, the first wicket has gone, Nasir Jamshed is the one who has been dismissed. He has been caught by Miller or the bowling of Markle for naught. And Pakistan are 4 for 1 in reply to South Africa all out for 183. We are in the fifth over. Shahzad, Shahzad is not out on 3 of 16 balls with no boundaries. Mohamed Afiz is not out on not. Well, uh, just um, talking about the uh, South African innings here. Uh, after that, as I said, uh, Said Ajmal 4 for 30. Shai the Freedy bowled superbly. 9 overs, 1 made in 37 runs and 4 wickets. Riyaz 6 overs went for 24. 5 overs for 23 for Mohamed Afiz. Uh, coming back uh, into the One Day Internationals uh, after being left out of the Test matches against South Africa, uh, 183 all out uh, South Africa. And right now, as I said, Pakistan have lost the first wicket. Let's see what really happened there. Uh, the first wicket is gone. As um, the first wicket to go was um, Nasir Jamshed, uh, who has been dismissed for not. Uh, just trying to tell you what exactly happened, uh, where South Africa have drawn uh, first blood. It was pretty essential for them to strike early. The bowling was absolutely on the money. They have been pretty bang on target as uh, Markle actually got a short delivery onto the body of Nasir Jamshed and Nasir Jamshed went for the hook shot. Uh, he skied the ball. The ball went up in the air. David Miller taking a catch uh, safe as a house. And uh, well, Nasir Jamshed is the first wicket to go. So the score now reads for, South for Pakistan 6 for 1. We are in the 6th over. So as I said, 
the real excitement is happening between India and Australia. So I'm going to take you there uh, for some live uh, cricket commentary uh, where I'm going to just uh, describe the match. And meanwhile, let's see what's happening there. Well, the over has started off very well. India are required. Okay, let's. Uh, I will come back to that in the meanwhile. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a summary of the Australian innings. Uh, this is the, as I said, is the sixth one day international, this is a seven match series, and it is essential for India to actually win this match and level the series and then take it on to the seventh one day international, which will be a real humdinger. So it was India who actually won the toss uh, and put Australia into bat. And Australia, as I said, this was yesterday I told in my review, which you didn't hear, uh, that uh, Wither Park Cricket Association Stadium, Jamta in Nagpur, is a feather bed of a pitch. Uh, there are lots of runs easy to come by and that's what precisely happened. Australia amassed 350 for six uh, batting first with centuries for Shane Watson, 102 of 13, uh, 94 balls with 13 fours and 3 six. Uh, uh, Bailey, uh, you know, getting on to become the, uh, I mean, scoring 1,000 runs in this year. Not only that, uh, holding the record as far as ICC test rankings are concerned as the best one-day international batsman uh, with uh, more than 1,000 runs. Bailey. 156, the captain of the Australian team uh, has really, really shown uh, what a wonderful player George Bailey is. Whether it is to uh, playing a waiting game, whether you need strokes from him, everything uh, comes up for him. And Bailey has really, really shown uh, that uh, he is going to be a, a really permanent member of the South Australian outfit in days to come. Not only in one-day nationals, but also in test matches. So Bailey uh, scoring 156. Uh, of 114 balls with 13 fours and six sixes, and Adam Wokes contributing an unbidden 44 of 38 balls with five fours, 350 for six. As I said, it's an easy pitch to bat on, and currently, as I said, the Indian challenge is going on, and India are, uh, I mean, it is, as I said, the match is going down to the wire. In fact, India also taking advantage uh, of this uh, pitch, which was absolutely lifeless. Uh, the opening partnership, uh, once again, as you remember, that crushing victory, but today it's not to be. Uh, it's even Stevens right now between Australia and India and Rohit Sharma and Dhawan giving up, um, laying the real, the perfect foundation uh, to go for the victory target of 350, 351 to win the match. Uh, in fact, they put on 178 uh, for the first wicket with Rohit Sharma contributing 79 of 89 balls with 7 fours and 3 sixes. Shikhar Dhawan went, going on to make his fourth one-day international century. Uh, and, and while I'm talking, Rohit Virat Kohli has reached a century. What a knock from Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli has reached a century, he's not out on 104 of just 62 deliveries, 16 fours and 1 six. And Shikhar Dhawan, as I said, uh, had his fourth one day international 100, and all his 100s have come in 2013. Shikhar Dhawan, what a player! He was bowled by Faulkner trying to move himself uh, to the leg stump to right flick the delivery after getting his 100, but he was gone for, uh, for his 14th one day international 100 of 102 balls with 11 fours. So that was the foundation which was set and after that Virat Kohli has been going about his business as usual absolutely uh, uh, not deterred at all playing the strokes with a gay abandon and he has been doing his job uh, to an absolute nicety so on him uh, lies the hopes for India right now uh, but uh, definitely one would fancy India's chances because Virat Kohli is not on 104 absolutely well set and Mahindra Singh Dhoni is not out on 16 but uh, for India uh, suddenly, uh, there was a spanner in the works, as um, as you know, uh, Suresh Raina and Yuvraj Singh have been haunted by Mitchell Johnson. And Mitchell Johnson, as soon as Suresh Raina uh, came in, Mitchell Johnson was brought into the attack, and Mitchell Johnson struck gold for Australia there, with uh, taking two wickets uh, in uh, two con in in the, in the same over. As uh, first he had Suresh Raina caught by Brad Harry, another bowling of Johnson for 16 of 15 balls, two fours, and Yuvraj Singh uh, was. Um, uh, gone as he was uh, clean bowled as he tried to play at a delivery uh, which uh, was which beat Yuvraj Singh for pace and uh, he was uh, castled by Johnson for not uh, and so Suresh Ryan and Yuvraj Singh continuing to have their problems against Mitchell Johnson and India uh, were 290 for four but after Dhoni's uh, Dhoni coming in uh, things have I wouldn't say uh, I mean all the strike has been taken by Virat Kohli uh, and right now I'm going to take you down to the center and probably I'll be ending up my, my cricket happening show uh, with this uh, particular cricket commentary. We will go the whole hog here uh, till the match is over. In the meanwhile, I see that uh, Faulkner in this over. Right now, the equation for India is India require another 27 runs uh, 
uh, with uh, six wickets intact but um, most importantly uh, there are f nine balls remaining and uh, in nine balls India require another 13 runs right now we are in the 49th over India score reached 338 for four with Dhoni not out on 18 of 19 balls with one four and Virat Kohli is not out on 109 of 64 balls 17 fours and one six uh, Shane Watson uh, is the bowler uh, Watson was hit for a boundary of the very first ball. In the meanwhile, the fourth delivery, uh, Dhoni is going to take strike, and Dhoni gets a slower ball from Watson, and Dhoni uh, basically uh, squeezes it down uh, through the offside uh, and goes across for a single. So Dhoni has moved on his score on to 19 now of 20 balls with 1-4. Virat Kohli is not out on 109 of 64 balls, 17 fours and 1-6. You know, Virat Kohli uh, has this has been his second century. In this one day international series he already holds the proud record of being the uh, fastest Indian batsman the Indian batsman uh, scoring the fastest century in this one day international series as Watson bowls to Kohli and Kohli has hit this boundary hit a boundary and that's very very useful runs coming in for India now the gap is really really narrowing as India are really really going for victory only eight runs separate India from victory now uh, and seven balls are remaining uh, so Watson bowling to Kohli. Kohli hits a four of the fifth delivery. So we have seven legal deliveries to come and India require another eight runs. So now one would definitely probably say uh, that India is really really uh, going to win this match. As uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni is at the other end. And this shot uh, which was a slower delivery from um, uh, Kohli but Kohli uh, from Watson and Kohli picked it up uh, uh, perfectly uh, and slammed it over the mid wicket boundary. Uh, for a four. What a shot and Virat Kohli let me tell you the way he has played and um, he has been absolutely majestic batting from Virat Kohli uh, and we are waiting for the final delivery to be bowled uh, by Shane Watson. Uh, Shane Watson uh, is uh, going back on the top of his bowling wrap. He's coming in to bowl to Virat Kohli. Uh, this is the final delivery uh, which is uh, coming up uh, from uh, Shane Watson and uh, Kohli will be taking strike as India require another eight runs uh, with uh, six wickets and seven balls remaining. So that we are still waiting uh, for the final delivery to be bowled and Kohli uh, has taken two runs of this uh, particular uh, ball. So uh, Kohli has taken his score on to 115 of uh, 66 deliveries, 18 fours and 1-6. Dhoni not out 19 of 20 balls with 1-4 and the 49th over has ended and India require uh, exactly six runs of the last six deliveries and let's see and uh, it would be Mahinder Singh Dhoni the Indian captain who will be on strike uh, for the final over and uh, Kohli well as I said what a majestic innings he has played and what a uh, what a player uh, the way he plays with poise with confidence uh, batting uh, comes pretty pretty easy to Virat Kohli uh, he really really susses up the situation pretty well he knows what exactly he has to do and India are really really blessed uh, with Virat Kohli. So now six runs required of the last six balls. Who is going to bowl? Is it going to be Clint McKay? One has to really wait and watch. Uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of discussion as to who is going to bowl the last over but uh, the runs that are to get are only six runs uh, but uh, well Australia definitely uh, would um, see that, that the best bowler comes in and bowls and uh, India should fancy with Dhoni and Kohli at the crease. Six required of six balls as I said, there's a lot of discussion going on right now in the middle. Uh, a lot of field placements uh, getting uh, being done by the Australian captain Bailey. Uh, and uh, well, it is going to be, I think it's going to be Faulkner, uh, who is the one who's going to bowl the final over. Uh, it's a matter of nerves. Uh, and as I said, Dhoni and Virat Kohli are at the crease right now. So we are waiting uh, for Faulkner to deliver the first delivery. Dhoni will be on strike. Uh, well, dear fans and subscribers, um, uh, I wish uh, um, I could go down the old hog. Uh, right now I see almost 20 minutes of this YouTube broadcast has gone by, but I only wish that I'm in a position to actually upload this video. But uh, well, I'm still, uh, you know, there with the excitement as Dhoni uh, gets a, uh, absolutely, that's a good delivery from Faulkner. A dot, dot ball here. So the pressure builds here as Faulkner has bowled a dot ball, the very first ball. It was a length ball to Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Dhoni was trying to swing it uh, down the onside, but uh, he has absolutely missed the delivery. Brad Haddon behind the stumps uh, takes, the uh, takes the ball 
are behind the wickets and Dhoni has to wait. In the meanwhile, Dhoni has made up for that first ball here by slamming Faulkner for a four. What a shot from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. And India clearly, clearly getting. And you know, Dhoni uh, missed the first ball where it swung. But the second delivery from Faulkner has been sent for a boundary by Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Dhoni 23 not out of 22 balls, two fours. India 349 for four. So one to equal and one to win for India. Just looking at this uh, stroke that Mahindra Singh Dhoni played, it was a low full toss and Dhoni uh, flashed it uh, 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 past the backward point region for a boundary. It was absolutely, uh, it, that, that was a real tracer bullet shot from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. As the score 349 for 4, Faulkner is going to bowl the third delivery. Now India f just uh, inching, I mean I would say uh, just two runs away from victory uh, and in one run, uh, taking one run will actually tie the scores. So Faulkner uh, will be bowling the third delivery and let us say probably one would expect Mahindra Singh Dhoni to finish off the match in this third delivery itself. And as soon as this match is over, this YouTube broadcast will be ending. Now it is 21 minutes on this YouTube broadcast. It's all for you, dear friends and subscribers, that I'm trying to describe the action. As that the end of the, ma end of the match, India has won the match as Dhoni gets two runs and India 351 for four have leveled the series right now and what a seventh one day international match the final match of the one day international series is going to be a real humdinger which is going to happen as um, India leveled the series right now and one more to go and what a match that is going to be I'm sure it's going to be a sellout crowd there in the seventh one day international as uh, Dhoni uh, shakes hands with the Australian uh, players and India won the match by six wickets with three balls remaining. Dhoni not out 25, Kohli not out 115. India winning the 6 1 day international against Australia by six. That's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket show for today. See you all tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.